Li si stende. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, And Father. welcome to the Minor Basilica and Shrine of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today we celebrate the 38th Sunday in Ordinary Time. We also celebrate the World Mission Sunday and Prison Awareness Sunday. Some people think that Bartimaeus' blindness is due to his sons, to his sins, or the sins of his parents. So they believe that he is also cut off from God. But Jesus rejects this belief and cares for Bartimaeus, granting him his most cherished wish to be able to see. Today is Prison Awareness Sunday and World Vision Sunday. Let us support the church, prison, and mission apostolates. Jesus opens the eyes of the people to the truth that God cares for the poor and those who collaborate in his mission of evangelization. We must not pass by prisoners, but give them a helping hand. Likewise, we must not be mere spectators, but all of us are called to the mission that God has entrusted to us. So my dear friends, let us pray and keep praying for one another, especially in fulfillment of our mission our mission to help especially the poor, especially those people who are suffering from this COVID pandemic. Let us now make ourselves worthy of this holy celebration. Let us ask God's forgiveness for all the sins that we have committed. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Amen. 
Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The Israelites experienced hardships during their captivity in foreign lands. Jeremiah prophesied that God will come to deliver his people and lead them home. A reading from the book of, of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, shout with joy for Jacob, exalt at the head of the nations, proclaim your praise, and say, the Lord has delivered his people, the remnants of Israel, behold, I will bring them back from the land of the north, I will gather them from the ends of the world with the blind and the lame in their beads, the mothers and those with child. They shall return as an immense throng. They departed in tears, but I will console them and guide them. I will lead them to brooks of water on a level road, so that none shall stumble, for I am a father to Israel, Ephraim is my firstborn. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, 
we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those that saw in tears shall reap rejoicing. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Jesus Christ shared in our witness. He is now our compassionate high priest before God's throne. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, every high priest is taken from among men and made their representative before God to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able to deal patiently with the ignorant and erring, for he himself is beset by weakness and so for this reason must make sin offerings for himself as well as for the people. No one takes this honor upon himself, but only when God called all, just as Aaron was. In the same way, it was not Christ who glorified himself in becoming high priest, but rather the one who said to him, You are my son. This day I have begotten you just as he says in another place you are a priest forever according to the order of melchizedek the word of the lord thanks be to god please stand The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a sizable crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind man, the son of Timaeus, sat by the roadside begging on hearing that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. And when he rebuked him, telling him to be silent, but he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him. So they called the blind man, saying to him, Take courage, get up, Jesus is calling you. 
He threw aside his cloak and sprang up and came to Jesus. Jesus said to him in reply, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man replied to him, Master, I want to see. Jesus told him, Go your way. Your faith has saved you. Immediately he received his sight and followed him on the way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Isa siguro sa pinakamahirap na eksperyensya ng tao ay yung hindi niya makita ang kanyang kapaligiran. Bakit? Dahil bulag siya. So alam na natin na kapag ang sinasabi na the eye is a window of the soul, it means sa uh, mata natin pumapasok ang liwanag. So understandable, kapag bulag ng isang tao, walang liwanag siyang makita. Madilim ang kapala, kapaligiran. Madilim ang kanyang mundo. At kapag madilim ang mundo ng tao, wala siyang magagawa. Ang hihintayin lamang po ng tao ay ang awa. Awa. Kaya, ordinary na makikita natin yung mga bulag sa daan, sa tabi-tabi, sa bangkete, at upang mapansin sila, sila ay sumisigaw. nagpapaparandam at hindi sila makapunta sa gusto man nilang puntahan na tao upang hinga ng tulong. At bakit? Eh, una, hindi nila makita kung sino yung tao. Maririnig, maririnig lamang po nila. Ngunit, hindi nila makikita. Kaya, Upang makalakad ang isang bulag, kailangan may guide, di ba? Merong guide. Merong siyang kasama. Dahil ang kasama niya, siya yung maging mata. Maging mata. At sasabihin ng kasama niya, o oh, sige, you stretch out your hand. At... Uh, Sabihin mo, uh, tulong. So, masasabi natin na ang buhay ng isang bulag will depend on the guide. Kaya na napaka-miserable ng buhay nila. Lalong-lalo na noon. Ngayon, at this modern time, di ba? Meron naman... Uh, mga social uh, assistance sa mga bulag at marami na rin mga bulag na may trabaho. Nagmamasahe at uh, hindi ko lang kung meron ng bulag na po na tagaluto <laughs> o yung bulag na nagsiserve, wala pa. So far, ang alam ko lang nagmamasahe kasi Mas gusto na ng iba siguro na magpamasahe sa bula kasi hindi, nila, hindi sila makikita. So, okay lang. At tinuturoan na sila kung ano ang dapat gawin. Sa ating banghilyo, si Bartimeo si isang bulag. Ngunit hindi siya nawala ng pag-asa na makakita. Nandun siya naghahanap buhay. Kasi yung mga may kapansanan sa panahon na ito, talagang mahihirap 
Pag hindi sila gumawa ng paraan, mamamatay sila. Kasi, para bagang ano sila ng society o kung minsan iniiwan ng kanilang pamilya. Bakit? Dahil ito yung mga tao na pabigat eh. Kailangan suportahan. Walang return of investment. Useless. Na kung pwede lang patayin. Patayin. But then, Bartimaeus does not lose his hope to see. So when Jesus passed by the city of Jericho and Bartimaeus knew it, he tried to cry out, First, Son of David, have pity on me. There's something messianic in that shout of Bartimaeus, son of David, have pity on me. And it is one of the work of the Messiah to allow the blind to see. Remember that. To allow the blind to see. That is one of the mission of the Messiah. And here, Bartimaeus, there's something in his mind that the eye cannot see, but the mind, the intellect, the faith could see. And he sees in Jesus that he is the Messiah, Son of David, have mercy, have pity on me. Eh, ito mga kontrabeda naman eh. Naghanap buwan na yung tao. Nagpapakaawa. Sabihin nila, shut up. Huwag kang maingay. But Jesus knew that there is somebody who needs his help Kaya, tinawag niya. At pasaklap pa, alam naman ng ating pinunun, siguro, na bulag ito, eh, bakit kaya tinanong pa niya, what do you want me to do for you? Alam naman na bulag. But then, Bartimaeus said, Master, this is a different you now. Master, not David. Master, I want to see. I want to see. Jesus just want to teach him something. That he want to emphasize that he needs something. And that is the light I want to say. And this is a beautiful answer of our Lord. Go your way. Your faith have saved you. Go away. Your faith has saved you. Dito makita natin talaga ang mata ng pananampalataya na hindi makita physically most probable. Ngunit, sa pananampalataya, makikita niya. Ang hindi makita na mga may mata. And this is true. Lalong-lalo na yung hindi naniniwala sa Diyos at naniniwala sa mga idols. They have eyes, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. And so, after receiving his sight, immediately, Bartimaeus followed Jesus, his master. 
this comes. But dear friends, there are a lot of Bartimaeus in our world. I'm sad to say that their obedience is not the obedience of the word of Jesus. Their obedience is a blind obedience. And what do I mean when I say blind obedience? Blind obedience is doing what the authority wants you to do without any reason at all. Kaya itong nakakalungkot sa society, sa community, sa kultura, at present time. We have a blind society. We have a blind culture. Why? Because we follow blindly. We follow blindly. So, anong sasabihin na may kapangyarihan, gawin natin. Gagawin. A good example of blind obedience kahit sa bahay. Pag sinabi ng tatay, anak, magnakaw ka. Magnakaw ka. Of course, sa takot sa tatay, yung anak, gagawin niyang magnakaw. Di ba? Ikaw ay isang anak, talagang gagawin mo, utos ng tatay, magnakaw ako. Ang masama pa, Pagdating ng bata, may dalang pera, anong gagawin ng tatay? Iinom, isugal. And that is the worst. That is the worst. Using the child. Using the child for a crime that certainly the child might not be known. But because of his obedience to the authority of his father, he followed. We are not obliged to obey authorities if what the authority is commanding us to do what is against the commandments of God or the teaching of the church. We have no obligation to obey such kind of authority. Yung iba natatakot eh. Kasi, gagamitan sila ng uh, Biblia. Di ba? Sabi nila, Disobedience to the authority is disobedience to God. So, kung wala kang alam at gagamitan ka ng biblical sayings, talagang matatakot ka. Matatakot ka. But then, Jesus himself was even tempted by Satan using Bible verse. Di ba? Kailangan nyo sabi ng ating Pahinoon, doon tayo. You only worship, you only obey God. Kaya nakakatakot ang isang society, ang isang kultura kung sunod-sunodan lamang at hindi nag-iisip kung ang kanyang o kung ang pinapagawa sa kanya ba ay tama o mali. Tama ba yung sabihin sa'yo, kill, kill, kill? Tama ba sa sabihin sa'yo na 
Iwanan mo na yung asawa mo. Maghanap ka na ng iba. Nakakasawa na siya. Tama ba yung sabihin, anak, nakakahiya sa pamilya? I-abort mo na yun, yung anak mo. I-abort mo na. Hindi naman kayo kasal. Tama ba yun? I'm just talking what is concrete and what is happening now. And our gospel today is teaching us about the blindness of Bartimaeus. But we should not be discouraged. Kapag may paniwala tayo sa Diyos, huwag tayo matakot na magsabi ng no. Huwag tayo matakot to disobey, lalong-lalo na kapag ang pinapagawa sa atin ay ipinagbawal ng Diyos. Ang susundin pa rin natin ay ang Diyos. When Peter and his companions were not allowed to preach about the name of Jesus, Peter answered them, We better obey God than people. And I thank you. That is our strength. God will not allow us to be devastated. Dahil kakampi natin ang Diyos. Hindi natin kakampi ang demonyo. The good will always triumph. And, the, and God will always triumph over Satan. Ang kailangan lamang natin ay kumapit ng malakas upang hindi tayo mahulog sa takot. Sa takot ng mga authorities na walang Diyos. Sa takot sa mga authorities na hindi nila alam ang kanilang pinagawa pansariling gawain na. My dear friends, sa panahon ng pandemya, let us once again revive that faith in God. Sa panahon ito, kailangan natin ang pananampalataya sa Diyos at ang pagsunod sa kagustuhan ng Diyos. We understand that there is no professor of faith. I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten at made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us for men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate, He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his, and his kingdom, kingdom will have no end. end. I, I believe in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son, the and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Father, open our eyes, minds, and hearts to our needy brothers and sisters. With faith and confidence, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. 
Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, show compassion to the leaders of your church and all missionaries through, throughout the world. Sustain them in their call to serve and not to be served, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, show kindness to the rulers of nations and preserve them from insatiability and self-righteousness, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, lead back all prisoners to the light of God's mercy and compassion through sincere and honest efforts of their families and communities who care and pray for them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, grant blessing and strength to all who actively work in the prison ministry and missionaries throughout the world. May they continue to be to be beacons of Christ's light to the people they minister to, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, show your radiant face to those who have died and grant them the future resurrection, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We may also say for our personal intentions and prayers, the intentions of this Mass. And let us continue praying, especially for our COVID patients and health workers. God our Father, merciful Judge, Look upon us with your merciful eyes and listen to the cries of your people who are suffering with blindness and hardness of heart. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for a good and a good of all His holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to our med to Your Majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service, we may be directed above all to your glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through Christ our Lord. 
For through his Paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people from your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works. For you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. <laughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we might be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Socrates our Archbishop, Fidelis his assistant, Gerard our Master of the Order, the religious, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, 
Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with the Father Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I love you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Mrs. Liu. Behold the love of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs may one day possess in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you very much for your presence, especially for your active participation and cooperation during this Mass. I would like to thank also our online uh, participants and most of all our uh, very own uh, frontliners here in the Mayan Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, our lectors and commentators, our Eucharistic ministers, our ushers. Thank you very much, Rusty, for the music and also for our uh, acolytes and sacristans. Thank you. Uh, let us pray for one another and keep praying and uh, keeping uh, the health protocols that we are required in order uh, to have a good uh, day and uh, avoid this COVID-19 uh, virus. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for a blessing. May Almighty God always keep every adversity far from you and in His kindness pour out upon you the gift of His blessing. Amen. May God keep you, uh, your hearts attentive to His words that they may be filled with everlasting goodness, gladness. Amen. And so may you always understand that what is good and right and be found ever hastening along in the path of God's commands. May two ears with their citizens of heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our celebration is ended to in peace glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. We will now have the blessing of our sick brothers and sisters. Kindly remember the names of your loved ones who are sick. 
We will also bless the religious articles. Kindly remain where you are. Our hope is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. To our kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of our Lady of the Rosary of Manawad, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they were grateful and blessed for holy name, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For your religious articles, in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may all these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.